Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Space Engine. Today, we're going to fly all the way to the edge of the universe, because we can do that in Space Engine, and see if we can find life out there. Here we are. That was the... We were in the Milky Way. That's the Milky Way there. And all of these are galaxies, so we're just going to fly... Oh, wait, that's a really bright one. Detour. Before we get there, I want to see what this looks like. That's pretty cool. Okay. That is fine. Oh, okay, we made it. Wait, hold up. Turn the brightness up. Which way is the exit? Right here. Okay, we made it. Here we are, everybody, at the edge of the universe. All right, the goal is to find life. So we need to just find a galaxy. What's a cool one? A brighter one, probably, like this one. Very, very bright around here. So what are you gonna do now? We are gonna look in this galaxy and find Earth 2. Chat, center or edge? Middle, center. Okay, so we can either... Oh, there's a black hole right here. First thing I click on, cool. Binary system between this star and this black hole. Pretty cool. And then there is a planet that looks like a... Okay, binary rocky planets. That's cool too. This one looked like a little bit better. So not life, but I mean, getting somewhere. Very first planet to click on though, like this ain't bad. What kind of stats we got? High pressure, very low gravity. Okay, so it's smaller than Earth. Should we just click for life or do we try to, or do we search? Towards the center, we get a lot of hot stuff with like black holes. So if anything shows up green, like the text on it is green, that means there's life on it. So I haven't seen any yet. Search, okay, we'll do a, we'll do a search. So let's try to find like a more Earth-like planet, like a temperate marine Terra with life. Where's life? Okay, this doesn't look too great, but it does meet our criteria of a temperate marine Terra with life. We can definitely do better than this though. That's sort of what it looks like. Rate this one out of 10. And before you go too harsh on it, remember, it is a temperate marine Terra with life, which is the same thing that Earth is. Not that different from Earth, the sky's a little orange. Five, four, three. The pressure is over a hundred times Earth's pressure. But this is important, guys. The atmosphere is nitrogen and oxygen, which is the same as Earth. That's probably why there's life. So I assume, yeah, these are plants. So yeah, decent. It's got 10 moons, if that raises your rating at all. Kind of cool. Earth similarity index. So this shows you how close it is to Earth, and it's 93%, which is pretty good. But let's find something better. Okay, we're going to fly... I guess towards the edge of the galaxy and do another search for the star. What's our planet look like? Oh, we might have found we might have found our our number one Earth with rings, fire. And how does our land is that land? Enough clouds. Okay. Um, water world with some small islands forming. With are they volcanoes? Yes. It looks like a volcano which, so that's where the land's coming from. Pretty cool, rate right, this one, guys. I see eight, I see 8.7361. With a lot of little moons. So like, this one's not even that far from it. I think we can do a little better, but this is definitely the best planet we've found so far. Oh, wait, hold up. We do have some sort of continent shape. Gravity is 1.5 times Earth's gravity, so like 50% more. The plants are like light blue. Interesting. Average temperature is 39 C. That's very hot. Earth similarity index is only 86, but it's slightly bigger than Earth. Yeah. Seas are made of water. Atmosphere is nitrogen, oxygen, water, and carbon dioxide. So this, that's very close to Earth. Wait, this might be actually very good for life. The only thing that I think is gonna hinder life is the temperature, but that's not hot enough to like stop life from developing what's 39 c in fahrenheit someone tell me i'm american i know it's hot but how hot is it 100 fahrenheit so yeah it's pretty hot like 40 c is pretty hot but i don't think it's too hot for life to develop so this might be the best one we find today and if you're watching on youtube and you want to go to any of these planets this code right here is like its coordinates so you can just press search and then type this in if you wanted to go here the chat is lagging is it all right oh hey winston what's my rating Probably a nine, because I could definitely see humans living here. Like a human could survive on this planet. We'll find a couple more. Hey, hey, two, two Earth-like planets. I mean, this one doesn't have life in the game technically, but water world next to, it looks like it has a continent on it. Let it, let it rotate. 
Why does it look, why does it have a little green circle? Is it tidally locked? Oh, it's tidally locked. Hold up, I wanna see if there's a, a little island here. Uh, why is it doing that? Here's the planet with life though. Very cloudy, which is probably good, right? Elements look good. Pressure is two atmospheres, which is high, but not extremely high. Like you can still live with that. Um, 12 moons, we got rings. Temperature, average is 20. Why is it 51 Celsius here? Is it tidally locked? No. Wait, how do we see orbit rotational period? 15 hour days, okay. Nine out of 10. Is this better than our last planet? It says average temperature is 20, but then it also says that right here specifically, it's 39. The game might not be very accurate at temperature because as it gets to night, the temperature drops like crazy. So I think we should just go off the average, which is 20, which is a little warm, but good. This is a little bit better, I think. So like 9.5. Now you can only live on the sides. You got to live on the poles. I'm kind of at the pole. That's why it's not setting. The sun's not setting all the way. What is this? Hold up. Is this ice? Yeah. How is it ice if it's 17 degrees here? That would melt. Um, this isn't very accurate. Okay, what about South Pole? Down here, it's gonna be cold, right? Yeah, negative. Pretty cool night sky, though. You wouldn't be able to see much with the rings. Pretty cool. Okay, this might be the best one we find. Uh, pretty good planet. I like it. 9.5. Land on a planet that's super close to the edge, then look at the night sky. Okay, that's a wonderful idea. Let's do that. If you're in a galaxy at all, you're gonna see stars, because, like, pretty much all the stars we see are from the Milky Way. So this one's like poking out a little more. This is probably closest you can get to the edge. Here's a galaxy right at the edge, and then we need to find a planet that's right at the edge of the galaxy. So go to the furthest star out we can see. And then here's a planet. Okay, and then land on it. Oh, wait, you can kind of see the edge. So yeah, here's the night sky on a planet at the very edge. This is the galaxy that the planet is in, but if you look this way, there's just nothing. There's, there's another galaxy there, but yeah, it's just, it's just completely blank that way. Kind of crazy. Search for a planet with no star in the edge. Okay. That'll be the last thing we do out here. We're going to, yeah, find a planet with no star. Cause like you're already lonely cause you're at the edge. So we're going to search for planimos. This is the closest one to us, which is a little ways into the galaxy. There's life. There's subglacial life in this system. It's just a planet. It's literally just like Saturn. Imagine Saturn floating through interstellar space with its moons. And this moon has subglacial life, according to the game, which is crazy. I turned on ambient lighting so we can see what it looks like. But according to the game, there's subglacial multicellular life on this little moon here. Um, there's the planet with no star. And then there's a few stars that are part of the galaxy we're in. But beyond those, it's nothing. It's the edge. So crazy. Like imagine living here, developing life. And I mean, this isn't going to become intelligent life. I mean, who knows? We don't really know how evolution all works and what conditions have to be for that. But it's not like Earth at all. All right. There is some cool stuff at the edge of the universe. Thank you all for watching. If you want to see stuff like this live, click the first link in the description to head over to the Twitch and shoot me a follow over there. Thank you for watching and I'll see you all soon.